How are these guys looking so far in camp? Well, I'm actually very impressed with how they're looking right now. As a core, we have a lot of depth right now, and that's given us an opportunity to kind of roll guys. But at the same time, it creates an opportunity for competition. And I mean, coaches ask for nothing more than that, but competition every day. That way nobody gets complacent. Nobody feels like they won the job. Everyone's working every day to win the job. So that's what you want for these guys, and I think we have that right now. Some of these guys, it's their second year in the system. That, that has to help a lot, too, right? Absolutely. Our knowledge of the playbook is very high right now. So, uh, And then those guys are helping those young freshmen that we have, helping them along to understand it all very, very rapidly as well. So um, you definitely can't complain with that. And then we got those senior leaders, you know, Joel German and Willie McNeil, doing a great job as well, just being great leaders out there on and off the field. How are the freshmen and GCOs adjusting the first year? Uh, it's it's a little different for all of them, you know. Um, we, we go at a very high tempo here in terms of we get a lot of plays in. Um, we're, we're making them finish downfield, uh, you know, unlike, you know, some of the other places that they've been, they catch the ball, they kind of just throw it down and go into the next play. No, I'm chasing those guys down the field, and we're finishing downfield, making plays downfield because, you know, that's what's going to happen in the game. You want them to get in that mode that when they catch the ball, I'm going to make a play downfield, so let's not do it. Let's do it now you know, instead of waiting for later. Now you mentioned competition. Do you, you would you say that you have a good feel on maybe four or five legit starters for this receiving core? Uh, I think on any given day we can put any guy out there. I really truly feel that. I mean, um, our, our right now if we had to throw three receivers out there, I don't even know who I would tell you right now. Um, but you know, th that's the great. That's the beauty of it. That's what you want. You want those guys to not feel comfortable. Don't ever feel comfortable. You know, one coach once told me, you know, how do you respond under pressure? And right now, I want to keep the pressure on them all the time. I believe pressure makes diamonds. Yep.